what's up guys welcome back to my channel um, I already did my eyebrows off camera because I have an eyebrow tutorial already so I don't see the point of doing them on camera all the time I'm just gonna go in with some elf camo concealer in a really light color to act as a base for my eyeshadow look. I'm just going to take my handy dandy Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and put some orange right um, above the crease. I like to put it where the eye socket is because that's where I'm going to cut my crease anyway. So it just saves effort and product to be honest. And I'm just going to blend that out. Next I'm taking yellow from the same Zulu palette and adding it right to the end of that orange color. It kind of just makes it blend in better and give it a little bit of a blend and move on to the next. So I'm taking the Morphe Jeffree Star palette and I'm going in with the green and I totally forgot that Jeffree Star and Juvia's Place eyeshadows do not blend together. At least that's been my experience. I don't know if any of you guys out there have experienced this, but it just never wants to blend. I don't know why it is, but they do not play well together. So I'm just gonna go in with my Take Me Back to Brazil palette and add the blue, and the blue luckily is very pigmented and it blended in with the green very well, um, but I'm going to try and save this look by adding a little bit of a higher cut crease here, and yeah. This is fine. Everything's fine. No, it isn't. I hate it. I'm mad. I'm angry. I'm taking the Bloodlust palette in purple. I don't remember the name, but I'll put it in the description box. And I'm just going to focus that on the outer corner of my eye and blend it up with the blue shade with a clean eyeshadow brush after I'm done setting it down. And brought me coffee and I had to take a break for a second because I was getting really angry and frustrated but I went in with the pink in the Juvia's Place palette because I know this is going to blend really well with that orange and I'm leaving the middle part open for some glitter. This is the Disney Villains collection by ColourPop. It's a really pretty holographic um, chunky glitter. And I'm just going to put that all over the center, trying to mask that portion that didn't blend, but yeah, it didn't work. It's still ugly. So, what I'm going to do is take a neon yellow liquid aligner. It wasn't my original plan, but we're just going with the flow here and trying to cover that up. We'll see how that works. This is one of my all-time favorite liquid highlighters. It's got a peach undertone and I'm just putting that right in the corner. like to do my face makeup before I finish my eyes so I went ahead and did that and then added liner lashes and finished the bottom of my eye look and then I went ahead and added some royal blue eyeliner to the waterline finished my bottom lashes and then added a clear literally 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 glittery gloss that okay I'm done talking I can't talk It is. 
guys. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.